um hello guys so welcome to this tutorial so in this tutorial i'm just going to look at tinydb so essentially um what's tinydb tinydb is basically um a python library kind of so uh, if you're familiar with nosql engines such as pymongo anything that has to do with the cloud like dynamodb for amazon um, it's basically the same thing but in this case you want to use it for development so let me click on the home page actually and then um so um so it's just your tiny documented oriented database optimized for your happiness <laughs> yeah basically that's the whole idea or the whole goal um with this thing so it's basically um for development so you can just create your own json file on your laptop and then you can test all the um commands that you want to test with nosql right so if we come to get started so getting started really and then we go down really quick it's like it has like almost all the query methods that you want to do all the methods essentially that you want to do with something like pymongo so if you are familiar with pymongo too it's also, it's also the same thing um yeah and then we also have like another video coming up on pymongo and um, we also post it on this channel as well so yeah um so essentially we we'll look at this and how to use it and then um yeah we'll just give you like a fair idea it's a very quick video so let me start it so i'm just going to open like a vs code um terminal that uh, so i'm open my vs code terminal but before that let me just create a file called main.py and then let me open the terminal and then i'll create a virtual environment so make virtual environment um and i'll just call it tiny db right and the first thing we need to do is basically to install this so people install tiny db right so people install tiny db we're good then the next thing is we just we're going to do the basic you just so what you need is you want to import tiny db from um from the tiny db and then the other things that you also want to import you can also look at them but let's let's just do this quickly and then so this right um but you can see that i don't have like um it shows that it's not installed it just means i have to change the interpreter here so let me click on here let me reload this i created a virtual environment called tiny db and done all right then the next thing is um, we want to create a database, right? And then we can do print DB. I don't know what it's going to give us, but yeah, um, it prints none. So Python main.py. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Okay, so you just create like tiny DB, this zero tables, right? Table count is zero, default documented count zero, all tables count, there's nothing there, right? And then it creates like our JSON document for us, which is really empty, right? Now let's come to inserting. So like if you want to insert something, so for instance, let's say you want to insert like some fruits, right? So, so something like this. So let me just call this fruit type kind of, so fruit, fruit type, and then apple and the count is seven. Let me create another one. Let's say you want to create for banana and then the count, let's say four right and then after that let me say i'm going to print db what will happen to db after we do this so let's run this so python and then we can see so we have like our default table how many tables count you have one right and within that we can have like document count right so we have um how many documents do you have that's basically the number of items right and then we call it two and then all types um, document the default is also two. Um, I'm just wondering the insert method, what does it do? So let me click on it. And then we can see that um, the insert, we totally insert a new document into a table, right? So that's essentially it. Now the next thing is, let's say we want to query everything in the table. So we can just do db.all, so we can just print that. And then because you've already inserted this, I would want to comment them out and then just run this. And uh, we get that food type, it's Apple. And then this is that, right? So 
you can see from here actually you can actually see that you can do anything because this is like a python list right so you can do anything that you want so you can see for item in db.org then um, let's say we want to print the item so you can just put it there and then we run it and we can see that we have this and that or we want to print the fruits type in the items right so fruit type in the items then we can we can just push them we're done right so essentially you can do anything that you want like let's go to the next one so okay actually we just did that for this in that then you can do anything now the next thing is a query right so if you want to do queries like um so let me do this so so we want to so because the query method is already here right so we would want to do something with it so let me say fruit equals query right and then query here is a function right um though it's a class it also it's also from coming from the query instance right then you just define something to be like a query and then um basically your model to be like a query and then um and then you start doing like your db.search or anything that you want to pass as well and i think there are more examples here like where you could do if something exists where there's where uh, everything is here right so so let's do this and then we want to query db.search where the food type is apple right so where the food and then we want to pass fruit type um is apple right and then after that so let's see what's going this is going to happen so nothing's going to happen here but then let me just comment this one out and then we can print db after this so after querying this after doing the search then we can just print db actually not that so let me just actually just print everything here because this is what you are looking for, right? So we could do print, give it a search, and then we pass that. So we have fruit type is apple, and then the count is seven. And then give it a search where the fruit type is greater than seven. So I can, let me just move this. Uh, fruit type, where fruit dot count is greater than five. So it's basically going to print the apple because the apple here is seven, right? So let's do that right and then let's say we want to do less than five anything less than five is going to print the banana first so let me hit it and you get the banana as well and the next one is if you want to update something so so essentially if you want to update um let's update something like okay, so db dot updates um updates so we want to change the count to 10 where the fruit type we call the food type, not just that. Food type is apple, right? And then after that, let's say we want to print db dot all, right? And we're good. So let me hit it, and then we're good to go. So Python, and then we can see that initially um, the fruit was seven, and then um, it now updated to ten. So we can see it right here. And then when we go to the JSON document, you can see what we have here, right? Let me try to format this control shift. Um, option shift F, kind of so that we can see how it looks like. So this is it, right? So we have like our default table. We did the default table, we have the first entry, and then the second one we have like a second entry, right? So essentially, that's it. And then if we want to remove something, let's say we want to remove one of them, we could do this as well. So I think we've already done the update, so we don't need to run update again but yeah but even if we do this right that won't happen because it's still be the thing and i want to remove anything that that is less than five right so let's try to insert more so let me do this all right so let's let's um insert something like peach uh then let's do some pineapple Ah, okay. Let me change this to ginger. Very understandable. <laughs> All right, then we can change this to three, and then we can change this to uh, let's say two, right? So once we run this, and then before that, let me just do this. All right, 
let me paste and then we see the updated JSON document. So you can see we have more items in the JSON right now. So I know the JSON is not formatted by default. So um so essentially that's it. But what I just did was to format the document. So if you want to do that, you can actually highlight everything, then you come to format selection and it will just format it for you. So on Mac it is option shift F, right? And then we essentially that's it. Um so now let's remove everything that is less than um five where the count the fruit count is less than five so then we run this and it's going to remove everything the only thing left here is this one as you can see it's just this one that is left for us all right um i think that will be it for this um yeah so you can um you can also do this so you can do um um a truncate where basically you can throw all data to start with an empty database so you just want to flash the database and then and then you start with um basically with a new life <laughs> yeah so you're basically starting with an empty database so let's do this and then let me print this and let's print this and see what, what's going to happen so we can see that it's empty now so we go we go here and we can see that the table is empty right so essentially that's the and these are basically the methods that we looked at so you can do anything that you want the query method the removing updating getting start uh, and getting data um you could watch actually do some iteration as well and then inserting that's what we looked at and if you come back to the documentation here and you want to read more um so this there's a lot here that you want to if you want to read so let's say you want to do time give you a table like um, this api reference let me click on it and then um essentially let me see so if you want to init it so you pass the storage you pass the name of the table as well and then the default cache size is like 10 right so that's basically so if you want to read more you could actually just go there and then look at it right so this is for queries um there's more to read there as well but yeah but what i just demonstrated is basically the um the methods that you would mostly want to use right um so let me do this db insert and click on insert mm, yeah so it's stable yeah so it's insert. i think that's it here we are and then we are done yeah let me just click on this and see how it looks like. Um, so you have table, you can pass the table name yourself if you want to create it for sure. And then you have tables, you can list tables as well. So something like this. And then you can drop tables if you want to drop tables. If you, you can also drop a table, a single table. And then you can also close the database if you want to as well. And then what else? I think that's all for database, yeah. And yeah. That's essentially it. Um, thank you everyone for joining and see you again in another video. Bye. Let me end this.